Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new I'm Callie and I'm so glad you're here because today's video is going to be part two of my clean and decorate with me for Christmas 2022 so in today's video I'm going to be focusing mainly on my dining room and my kitchen I also decorate a little bit of our powder room and so I can't wait for you guys to see that as well so without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on into decorating. I'm going to mainly let this video just be decorating with music and I'll pop in here and there to say whatever I might have to say, but let's go ahead and get started and I can't wait for you guys to see how it turned out at the end. Once I got everything unwrapped, I'm going to start with my corner hutch and these pieces are pieces that are very sentimental to me because they are part of my grandmother's Christmas village and growing up she always had these in her little bay window and I always loved looking at them and thought they were so pretty. So a few years ago I was over at their house and I was just mentioning the Christmas village that she had and she said that she would love to give me a few of the pieces to take home and decorate with and I was so excited and I've put them up here every year since. I just love looking at them. They're very nostalgic for me and bring back a lot of really good memories of her as a kid and so I just try to keep these really nice and I love having them up here on the top shelf. One day I hope to get a few more little pieces just to go with them but for right now I think it's just enough to keep the memory of my grandmother's Christmas village alive. She's 82 now and so she doesn't do a whole lot of decorating for Christmas but I love just kind of carrying on this tradition for her and so once I get done I worked the snow forever trying to get it spread out and exactly how I wanted it and I'm just going to finish decorating this top shelf and then I'll move on to decorating the shelves below.
to my dining room table. If you're new to my channel, this is the only little dining room area that we have and we do sit at this table every night for dinner and so I wanted to keep the decor very simple and compact. My husband likes that he can just pick up this whole tray and put it to the side while we're eating dinner. He hates table decor. I don't know if it's just a man thing or what, but he hates it. And so I try to keep it really simple so that he can just pick it up and it's not a million things on the table. And I like the little candlesticks and the Christmas trees. I think it's just really cute. And then I'm just gonna add these little placemats. And then I'm gonna move over to a little side table that I have. I'm gonna switch out these frames for some more Christmassy prints. And then I'm gonna decorate this table as well. Santa Claus, it's the number one most magical time of the year. 
Teresa, how many days until Christmas? So moving right along into our kitchen, I'm gonna switch out the soap dispensers for something a little more wintry, Christmassy, and I'm just adding some more soap. And then I'm gonna decorate on the side of the sink as well. So I have this little wood block and I'm gonna put the soap dispensers on there as well as a few other little Christmas items. I wanna preface my kitchen by saying that it's small. It's not a huge kitchen. It's not one of these influencer worthy kitchens. I'm thankful for it, don't get me wrong but I don't like to add a ton of decor because then it can feel very cluttered and it doesn't leave me with a lot of counter space to cook and it just ends up looking cluttered and I don't like that. So I just try to add a few little Christmas pieces. I would love to add more, but my counter space just does not lend me that. And so I'm gonna keep it very simple in here and just add a few little Christmassy touches and then we will move on to decorating the powder room.
know if I've shown you guys this cookbook on my channel before, but I love it. And I think it goes perfect over here on this little sliver of countertop that it's like, what is this even here for? But it's perfect for a cookbook stand and a cookbook. And this one's my favorite right now because it's got just like a bunch of platters and boards and charcuteries in there that you can make. And there are ones for the different seasons. Like for fall, there's one for s'mores. There's like a hot cocoa tray. Christmas cookie tray. So I like using it in my decor because I think it's just really cute and it, especially in the kitchen because that's where you would use a cookbook. But it's got a lot of great pictures and so I can use it as a decor piece as well. So I used to put this Merry Christmas sign in our living room on the mirror, but I decided this year that I wanted to put it above the window in our kitchen. I was going to do it, and I said, you know what, I have some holes already left up there from a previous time where I was trying to hang something up here, and he was like, no, 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 I'm going to get the tape measure and we're going to do it right. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I don't know, I just kind of wing it, and if I get it up there, great, that's not my husband at all. Um, that's marriage, right? But I'm thankful that he hung it for me and that it's up there. But um, I probably would have just kind of slung it up there if it would have been me. But um, I think it turned out really cute. I might add some garland around it um, later on with some lights or something. But um, for right now, I think it looks really cute. And then we're going to move on to decorating the rest of my kitchen.
is fall Wonderful, magical It's that time y'all so that is it for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it stay tuned for my next video which will be decorating the outside of my home which i'm really excited about i love decorating our front porch from season to season so definitely subscribe if you want to see that give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i'll link all of my videos from last year as well as this year down below so you can go check those out as well and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next one bye Walking around